This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up your advanced motor fail safe as well as your IOC. So as you can see on the top we have currently selected the motor tab. Now the motor IO speed actually uh, you can set it between recommended to high. Now the way to test how uh, which one to put it on is you're going to go back to basic aircraft and you're actually going to run your motor test. Now for any reason your motors they're not spinning properly when you click M1 so as you can see if I click it once it does a full spin if I click M2 it does a full spin if for any reason it's kind of twitching or just not spinning at all you want to increase your motor motor idle speed up and you can increase it you know to medium high or you can increase it all the way to high now the next thing you want to do is the cutoff type the cutoff type you want to make sure that immediately is checked so um yeah Th this is these would be our default settings um for the majority of the matrices so as you can see we'll move on to fail safe now fail safe you want to make sure that the go home landing is checked now you can do the landing but it will basically land where it's at. So if it lands on a small bush, whatever, it'll land on top of any like whatever is underneath it. Um, it won't avoid any obstacles. Same thing with go home landing. It's gonna go straightly direct, uh, direct path to the takeoff point. So um, that that's the thing you want to be careful for the fail safe. Now the next thing you want to check is the IOC. Now on the IOC, we currently have it set to the F mode switch at the top. Um, now, if for any reason it's not set properly, um, you want to hold uh, hold down your roller, turn off your radar, hold down the roller, turn it on. Again, this is only for DX8. Scroll down to your ch switch select. You want to make sure that F mode is to gear. You don't want gear to be on gear. So make sure F mode is on gear. Um, once it is, go all the way up to the main screen. Go back and then test it out. If for any reason it's reversed, so if it's at position zero and it's on home lock, then it, you need to reverse it. Currently we have it set up properly, so zero is off, one is course lock, two is home lock. Again, if it needs to be reversed, go into your servo setup, scroll down to travel, adjust it till you see reverse, so I see reverse here. You'll click once, scroll down, till you see gear and then you can just click this and it will actually reverse it so again just make sure that position zero is off and that's how you set your advanced motor failsafe and IOC on the NASA MV2 assistant for your matrix